Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain. Hello and welcome, I'm Marshall Brain and today I would like for you to imagine that we are traveling through space because today's big science question is, what is a light year? We hear about light years all the time and here's an example of why we hear about them. We live on Earth. The Earth is part of the solar system. The solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy. And if we could get up above the galaxy and look at it, this is what scientists think it would look like. Scientists believe that the Milky Way galaxy is about 100,000 light years across. That's big. Scientists have also told us that our nearest galactic neighbor is the Andromeda Galaxy and that the Andromeda Galaxy is 2.2 million light years away. The distances are huge! They're so huge that they're nearly impossible for us to imagine. So let's start at the beginning. Light, like the light that comes out of this flashlight, moves very, very, very fast. How fast is it? Scientists have figured out that light moves at about 186,000 miles per second. That means that if you turn on a flashlight and you could measure how fast the light was going as it leaves the flashlight, it would be able to move at about 186,000 miles per second. What moves at the speed of light? Well, obviously light does. When it's moving through air or space or glass, light is always going about 186,000 miles per second. Another thing that goes at the speed of light is radio waves. When you talk on a walkie-talkie or a cell phone, your voice is moving at the speed of light. Another place is electricity in a wire. The signals inside your computer move at the speed of light. So what is a light year? A light year is a way of measuring distance. Now we're used to measuring distance with things like rulers and tape measures. But a light year is for measuring really, really, really big distances. A light year is about 6 trillion miles. The problem is 6 trillion miles is almost impossible to imagine. So let's try something just a little bit smaller. Let's look at the light second. Since the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second, one light second is 186,000 miles. That's easier to imagine because the moon is about one light second away. If you look at the distance between the Earth and the moon, it's about 240,000 miles. That works out to 1.3 light seconds. So let's imagine that you have a friend living on the moon and you call her with your new radio telephone. You say, hi, how are you? It would take 1.3 seconds for your voice to get to the moon because the moon is 1.3 light seconds away. Your friend says, great, and now it takes 1.3 seconds for your friend's voice to get back to Earth, so it would sound like this. Hi, how are you? Great, I mean, listen to how long that delay is. Hi, how are you? Great. Even at the speed of light, it takes a lot of time to get a message from the Earth to the Moon and back. If we want to go bigger, we can talk about the light minute. A light minute is about 11 million miles. The Sun is about 93 million miles from the Earth. Therefore, it takes sunlight about 8.3 minutes to get from the Sun to the Earth. And the Sun is 8.3 light minutes away from the Earth. And then there's the light hour, which is about 670 million miles. Our solar system is about 5.6 billion miles across. That means it would take light 8.4 hours to get across our solar system. So our solar system is 8.4 light hours in diameter. So now that you know a little bit about light hours, light minutes, light seconds, we can kind of put this all in perspective. The Earth is a tiny little speck in our solar system, and our solar system is only a few light hours across. It's inside of a galaxy that's 100,000 light years across. In other words, we're just a tiny, tiny little speck in the universe, because the universe contains billions of galaxies. If you'd like to learn more about light years, or about light hours, light minutes, or even light seconds, come to marshallbrain.com slash science. Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain.